Boy, it's a beautiful day out here. I'm gonna tell you guys real quick the importance of you dispatchers out there. Man, big salute to all of my veterans out there. Big shout out to all of my subscribers. Man, I'm even promoting physical training on my YouTube channel now. Man, first thing you should be doing in the morning is working out. Like I tell you guys, I don't care if you gotta be at work at six in the morning. You better be up at four in the morning and get to it. I know a lot of y'all out there right now, I know some of y'all watching me. Some of y'all just wake up and y'all go straight to work in the morning or straight to your computer and start working on your business, you know? So being an employee, being a business owner, being you as a person, you need to always make sure you get up and get to it by a good little sweat in the morning. I'm trying to tell y'all out there, it'll make you feel a certain way. I'll be feeling accomplished, you know, once this sweat start dripping from me bright early in the morning. So, man, I just wanna put this quick video out there to you guys, man. Like I say, I know a lot of you guys out there are getting off in the box trucking, you know? A lot of you guys out there wanna go buy a box truck and you guys wanna start your trucking business. So like I told you guys, the first thing that I would do if you guys want to start an actual box trucking company out here is to learn how to dispatch yourself which I offer dispatch training, go to my website. You guys can learn how to dispatch yourself and also for you guys out there who wanna start a dispatching company too. You guys can learn how to start making money off of the owner operators out here who don't wanna learn how to dispatch themselves. So that's the first thing I would learn how to do. The next thing is I would go get my own authority. So if I'm you guys right now, I know a lot of you guys out there that's viewing this video right now, you guys are very interested in starting a box trucking company because it's very cheap to start, but it's very lucrative too. But also it's very challenging too for you guys out there. Don't think you're just going to go buy a box truck and you guys are going to uh, tomorrow start making money. No, it still don't work like that. You guys still have to learn the system. You guys still have to understand and be strategic about your plan or how you're about to attack it so that you can start making money. So I just want to put this video out there to you guys, man, who aspire to start your trucking company and start a very inexpensive trucking company, but a very lucrative trucking company too, you know? So like I tell you guys, I never bought a box truck. I've dealt with them, dispatched them, leased them, leased them all to my company. So I understand, you know, I understand numbers and like the saying go, numbers don't lie, right? <laughs> Very simple math. So my advice for you guys out there now, when you wanna go start this actual box trucking company, what type of box truck do you wanna buy? Do you wanna buy 16 foot? Do you wanna buy 18, 19 foot, 26 foot? Hey, I'm gonna tell you guys out there, you guys better buy the biggest box truck too. You know, so that you don't be limited to what you can haul in the box trucking community. Buy the biggest box truck, the longest box truck, which is about 24 to 26 feet, right? And I know they probably have some that's bigger and longer than that, but the average is going to be 24 to 26 feet. Now you have to ask yourself, what type of truck do you wanna buy? Do you wanna buy the regular one? which is just going to be straight enclosed drive-in style, or do you guys want to go buy the one with the refrigerated unit on it? You know, so that's a question you should be asking yourself right now, but I'm going to give you guys some advice right now on which box truck I would actually go purchase if this is something that I want to do. So like I'm telling you guys, I'm just giving you guys advice right now from pretty much an expert trucking professional, you know? stand i mean point of view so what i would do if i was you guys out there i would go buy the refrigerated box truck and the reason why i would buy the refrigerated box truck is because now you can haul refrigerated you know freight so it's going to open up the doors for you too you know and you can also just haul regular freight so that's even for you guys out there that have a semi truck right now some of you guys have a reefer unit and some of you guys just have a dry van unit that reefer unit is going to be able to haul frozen, you know, food and all of any type of freight that needs to be hauled in an actual refrigerated unit. And your dry van 
can't haul anything that needs to be in the controlled temperature environment, right? So if you guys go out and get that actual reefer unit, whether it's for your semi truck or for your box truck, of course, we're talking about box trucks right now, go get that refrigerated unit. So now it's going to give you more loads too. That's what it's about, especially for you guys out there running on the load board, you need to get into some style of trucking that's going to give you more results on your loads whenever you're searching. Box trucks already won't have that many loads on the load board. That's why you guys have to get linked in with your local customers so that you can start getting some contracts with those box trucks. But you can get on the load board and book loads for box trucks. There's multiple ways too that you guys could search for box trucks. Just don't go to straight box truck. You guys could search for a van, 48, 53 foot van. You guys could search for 48, 53 foot reefer loads too but you only could search within your criteria and what could fit on your truck. So let's just say you guys right now is searching for a 48 or a 53 foot um, reefer load, reefer loads. You will search all of the loads for that 48 or 53 foot uh, refrigerated trailer will pop up. Now you just have to see what is going to fit your actual trailer. So let's just say the load is 26 feet and it's eight, 10,000 pounds. You guys could haul that as a box truck. So you would have to just call up the broker and say, hey, I have an actual box truck. Will they load a box truck? Because of course they posted that load for an actual semi truck. So that would just kind of like some, you know, ways that you could get around it too. If you guys caught that, you know, out there. So, um, man, if I was you guys, man, I'll go get that uh, reefer box truck and uh, man, open up your options when it comes to booking loads. So one day you might be hauling a load that's just a strict, uh, that's just strictly for a dry van, but you're able to haul it because of course a dry van is just an enclosed train. You know, some of these shippers and manufacturers out here might say that they don't want to uh, load up an actual um, reefer load on a dry van load, but you know, that's very rare at the end of the day. So. You guys can save some gas too so that you don't have to have that reefer running when you guys are running an actual dry van load for that day and then the next day you might get a load of ice cream or something turn that reefer on go pick up that ice cream and the reason why i say that is funny man because man i remember my dad got a cdl license when i was like seven or eight years old and i was so fascinated with the 18 wheelers and my dad got his class a cdl license got his first job and he was uh, driving an actual box truck, a refrigerated box truck, and we was hauling ice cream every day from Decatur, Illinois, over to, I believe it's Crawfordsville, Indiana. But I just used to be mad at my dad when these 18 wheelers used to pass us, you know, because I wanted to be in that big truck and we was riding around in this little small box truck. <laughs> so I know for a fact, that box truck makes money though, you know, cause my dad was making money as a company driver, hauling ice cream and of course that company was making money and it was a dedicated, you know, route too. We did it every day. So man, I just want to put this quick video out there to you guys, man. You could pretty much do whatever you want to do in this world. Remember that, you know, if someone is around you right now and you telling them your dreams and your goals and they don't feel as inspired and happy for you as you are about yourself, don't even tell them. Just go out and execute. That's how I live my life. I don't tell nobody shit. I'm just going to go do it. And once I do it, then people gonna watch. People gonna see what's going on out here. You know, so, hey, how you doing, man? I didn't mean to cuddle, Oh, it's all good, man. So, I just want to put this out there to you guys, man. Go get you a reefer box truck if you guys are planning on starting in the box trucking uh, community and uh, learn how to dispatch. Freight broker training coming up May 15th through 16th. Live webinar style, everything in the description box below. Go get you 30 day free trial with DAT. You guys need that load board, especially if you guys out there want to start making money. I know a lot of you won't come in with customers already. So go get you 30 day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with tabs. Trans Am Financial Services. If you guys are looking for a factoring service out here, man. Hey, this is what I want everybody to do today. Write your goals down. Think about it, right? Do these three things. I need you to commit 
execute and be upset. CEO, commit, execute, and be upset. Everybody be great out there. Everybody be great out there.